just trying to come at you with some more Pokemon content today. Um, I do want to apologize up front for the rather poor audio quality. Um, in order to get my guest on, uh, we just kind of had to do the setup this way. Um, again, I apologize. Also, um, our guest here, if you didn't catch our video last night, uh, this is my little brother Austin. Uh, he was a part of our, um, our draft. Uh, he was actually the Oklahoma City Thunderous. Um, I was the Green Bay Picas, and the rest of our, you know, people in our draft are scattered about here. Um, today we kind of just want to go over um, the draft. We're going to talk about each round and then talk about um, the pick of the round. Um, at the end of the draft, we're both going to give um, what we thought was the pick of the draft. Um, and then also we will have a couple mons that we thought uh, should have been picked, or maybe people should even be looking out for these uh, just on the wave of wire in general. Um, so without further ado, let's just uh, jump right in. Uh, the first pick of, well, the first round was actually made by this guy right here. Uh, why don't you give us uh, some insight into this pick? I went with uh, Escadrille because my plan was to build a sand team, and with the sand, with the sand rush ability, he would have a lot of speed, and he still can hit pretty hard. And I thought he was worthy of the number one pick. Also, one thing else I do want to point out about Expedrill, of course, is just his flexibility. Even if he decides not to bring Sand Team, um, just the fact that it has right between Stealth Rock, has a huge attack stat, um, it, uh, it's still very useful, even out of the sand. Uh, it has like a Choice Scarf Mold Breaker set it can bring. Uh, it can be bulky, all kinds of things. Um, with the second pick, um, Dizzy Falcon decided to go Weavile. I really didn't know where, where he was going with this. It becomes apparent a little bit later. Um, but Weavile is very strong. I mean, it hits. Like a truck, and it hits very fast. Yeah. Uh, the next pick was Mew, which I think is just one of the best Pokemon in the drafting format. Um, it's just, you know, it's massive move pool, it's decent stats. Um, very versatile. Very versatile, just absolutely. It could be your Stealth Rocker, it could be your Defogger, it can learn U turn, it can. Set up. It, it can it can do a lot of different things. It'll be defensive. Uh, just absolutely, your opponent has no idea what this is going to bring. Probably the surprise round of the pick, or the surprise pick of the round, uh, was the next pick in Scolipede. I still don't exactly know what he was thinking here, what his plan was, um, but he did pick Scolipede first. Um, pretty fast, hits reasonably hard. <coughs> um, has a surprisingly good move pool, has access to like Earthquake, I think it even has Stone Edge, um, Poison Bug Titan's pretty good. I, I didn't know if he was going to fall there, but I was actually going to take him in the fourth round where I took Entei. Hmm. Hmm. Did not know that. Um, next was me. Um, I took Mega Scizor. Um, I really like Scizor uh, in general. Uh, Mega Scizor is even better. Um, I mean, most of the things Scizor can do, Mega Scizor just does a little better. I guess there's a choice band set. Uh, but even then, it's arguable that Mega Scissor can do just as well at that with its um, increased defenses. Um, also, it can be my Defog user. Um, I can run an offensive. I can run a defensive. Uh, it can be set up. It can, it can, be, it can run Sword Stance set up. Uh, I like the priority it has. Yeah. Um, moving right along, we got uh, Zapdos. Um, another pretty good mon, uh, Tier 1 mon here. Uh, if you haven't seen our tier list, uh, I will link it, um, now that I think about it, in the in the description of this video so you can maybe take a look at it while we're going through these picks so you kind of see where these people are picking. Um, anyways, Zapdos, uh, it can be offensive, much like, um, well, it can be off especially offensive, it can be specially defensive, uh, it can have defog, smooth pool is okay. The next pick I'm going to go ahead and let you talk about. <laughs> I definitely think this was the pick of the draft. He was going to be my mega. Not the pick of the draft. Pick or, of the, the pick of the round, not, not the pick of the draft. I was going to pick him in the second round as my mega, mostly because I'm building a sand team, and he can set up sand, but he can also hit hard on his own. He has very good attack stat, and, yeah, I wasn't exactly happy that he went here. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was... Uh... This is actually another, our, we have one other brother, this is actually our other brother, so it's interesting to see the brotherly rivalry. <laughs> I thought it was funny that he went for Mega Tyranitar when I knew, I had been talking to Austin before the draft, and I knew he had wanted uh, Mega Tyranitar, so it was just funny to see him getting written up on the board. Uh, ironically enough, talking to this uh, guy right here, 
he actually had wanted Mega Sizzler first, so it's funny how we kind of all stepped on each other. Um, yeah. Um, but a pretty good pick, super powerful on, just ridiculous stats, uh, other than its speed, of course, but, I mean, it can it can take hits and keep on giving them very hard back, even on its better side. Uh, next, th this draft, just so you know, was a snake draft, so it went, you know, round one, and then it went to, uh, it, round two goes this way, um, just kind of to even up, so that way the first pick does not have a huge advantage um, that, like it could. Yeah. Um, Ferrothorn here he went with, uh, not a lot of speed on this team so far, actually not a lot of speed on this team in general, but we'll get to that. Actually, I just realized something, guys, you probably can't even um, see uh, oh, the, the, bottom. the bottom, there we go, much better. Okay, I just want to make sure you guys can see the whole picture. Um, you know, Ferrothorn here, pretty good, um, I don't love that he shares a weakness with Tyranitar, um, but he also covers up some of those weaknesses. Um, he can take... Uh, uh, water moves, obviously, for the Tyranitar. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, they have other uh, um, ways they work together. But, again, um, I do like that he has picked two Stealth Rockers already. That's nice. It really helps out uh, later in the draft. You don't have to worry about that kind of thing. I definitely like this pick. I was expecting him to go a little later. Oh, it was kind of we forgot to talk about our pick of the draft. Our pick of the round. Pick of the round. Let's back up a little bit, guys. I'm very sorry. Uh, yeah, so, sorry, just, we're only like half a pick in, so it's not a big deal. Uh, the, uh, back to the pick of the, ra the round, you already said yours, you thought it was Mega Tyranitar. Um, he gave his reasons why. I thought the pick of the round was actually new, uh, just because I think it's, again, I, I gave my reason why I think it's so good. It's just one of the best mods. Um, again, it'd be offensive, defensive, it'd do literally almost anything you want it to do. Um, I just love that versatility, especially in the draft form. It makes it very hard for your opponent uh, to repair. So, moving on. Uh, back down, we'll go to Ferrothorn. Uh, I had already said this about I think you were starting to talk about it, or had you already? Were you, had you I was saying it? that I I was I like him. I thought he was going to go a little farther. I think he was kind of surprised to hear, but I definitely like this, like him a lot. Um, right on. Um, next was Vaporeon uh, by Zach Tech here. I, I don't really know what he was thinking. Um, I don't know like what I still don't know what his plan is at this point. Um, but Vaporeon is a pretty good mon, it has a huge HP stat, um, pretty good special defense. Uh, it can run, it can be your cleric. I, I know it learns Wish, it might even, I don't think it learns Heal though, but I know it learns Wish, so it can pass switches around your team. Um, it has a pretty decent uh, and respectable um, special attack stat, I think it's like 110 base. Uh, so it can be kind of offensive there, you know, nothing really wants to switch into like a Scald or something from it. Um, yeah, that's Vaporeon. Uh, Next is Garchomp. Uh, so here I, I really like Garchomp uh, with Mega Scizor, uh, mainly because not only does it um, take the fire attacks that is going to hit Mega Scizor, um, it also threatens out the fire attacks with its um, ground coverage or ground, you know, typing. Um, and then uh, Scizor has pretty decent offense, a defensive synergy there. It can take ice attacks, it can take fairy attacks. Um, yeah. I didn't think he was going to be there at that point. I didn't either, actually. I thought, I wasn't even sure. Um, I actually had multiple plans, kind of. I had, like, you know, if this, like, I had, if I get Mega Scizor uh, first round, you know, I had a couple different routes I could go. My, my plan A route was Garchomp. I didn't really think he'd be there. He's just such a powerful mon. Um, but, yeah. Um, next we have Heatran. Uh, this is a pretty good pick. It's a very strong Pokemon um, can be offensive and defensive, much like Stealth Rock Setter. You can be your Stealth Rock Setter. Um, Shooting you can be your Hazer, Phaser. Uh, he can be like a Spex user. He can be uh, Scarf. Um, I like that he covers Scolipede's uh, fire weakness uh, as well as the flying weakness that he has. Um, vice versa, Scolipede actually uh, covers T Trans fighting weakness. That's nice. Um, they also, it's one physical, one special. I like that. I, I kind of like where he's going on his team. I don't know. I still don't know exactly what the skull people <laughs> was about, to be honest with you, but I, I do think this pick works fine with it. Moving on here, we have Mega Absol. Um, at this point, I knew I wanted a core. Like, I wanted a, I had Mew, and I was like, well, I could get a, a Fighting Dark um, Psychic core going. And so um, I, I went with Mega Absol here. Um, you're right. You're right. Well, okay. I even picked for uh, this person because he wasn't there. So when I say me, I mean 
I was picking for him. He kind of gave me an outline of his plan uh, a little bit, and so I kind of working off it. And so I ended up going for Mega Absol. Um, I kind of also know kind of just the mons he likes, so I know he's a fan of Mew and stuff like that. So anyways, pick Mega Absol. I like that it's a Magic Mouth user. Now he actually has two ways to get rid of rocks and two picks. That's nice. Plus he has the Stealth Rock Setter. Mega Absol can be um, his... Um, he has like setup sweeper. Uh, uh, he can do a lot. Of, well, he actually isn't that versatile, but what he does is okay. Um, here we have the Keldeo. This is actually a pretty good pick, I think. Um, I, I don't love Keldeo's versatility, uh, but I, I do really like it. It's just it's a very powerful Pokemon of what it does. Honestly, half the time it doesn't feel like Keldeo needs any other moves other than a fighting move and a water move, because almost nothing resists both of those. Um, just hits very hard. Actually, does work pretty well with the uh, Weavile. Can take the uh, the fire type, the type attack make for Weavile. Um, Weavile can take the uh, Psychic type moves for Keldeo. It's just pretty nice. I I didn't exactly know where he was going yet, but it, I thought it was a good pick. I'll let you take this one, sir. Well, with Mega Tyranitar gone, what's next? <laughs> I figured I'd take Tyranitar, and in some ways it's better because with regular Tyranitar, I can give it a smooth rock, extend the sandstorm, so Extra Joel can have that uh, can have the sand rush speed bonus for longer, for eight turns instead of five, and he's also very powerful, so I just thought he'd be the right choice here. Yeah. Also, uh, one thing about Tyranitar, obviously. Uh, just a lot more versatility than Mega Tyranitar in some ways. He can, you know, he can. You can throw a scarf on it. You can throw a band on it. You can throw the smooth rock, like you say. He he just has a couple different um, things he can do. Uh, next again, attack. Oh, actually, before we go again, uh, pick up round two. Um, I had Garchomp. I also had Garchomp. I, I didn't pick myself a ton, guys. Don't worry. It's not like I was like, yeah, I think Garchomp is great and. You know, I did. I didn't, but I did think this was the. I just think it's probably just the best Pokemon taken this round. Just a very strong one, and I, I like the way it's introduced with. For where, Pokemon. for where he was picked, he's a steal for how powerful he is. Second round, he's very powerful. I agree. Um, okay, so Salamence. Sorry, we will try to remember this every time so it doesn't happen. Yes. Yeah. I wanted to have a Dragon type to resist, um, to, just because. Dragon packs are very powerful, but also Salamance has a very high attack and special attack um, stat, so he can be versatile. I can run him as a physical or special attacker. Um, he's also fairly bulky with his, and I just he's pretty powerful. Yeah, uh, one other thing about Salamance, uh, he has a defog user, which I like. Uh, gives him now he has two ways. He has two different ways to get rid of rocks and two different ways um, to set them, uh, and I, I like that. That he was going after that early. Um, the second pick, uh, the uh, third round was Azelf. And right here, I was like, oh, I get it. Like, th this right here was when I kind of understood this gentleman's plan. I was like, oh, okay, he's going for a fighting side of Dark Core. Um, very fast core here. Uh, I want to say that. Just in terms of just raw speed, um, what, Keldeo is the slowest one, and he's at like 108. I think Azelf is 115, and Weevil, I think, is like 125. So just a very, very Fast, um, offensive core here. Um, I like it. I like it. Moving on to Lucario, the second of the uh, fighting psychic dark core is finished. Um, I went with Lucario. Um, just a pretty good Mon. I, I don't... He's not my... He's not my favorite fighting type, but I mean, I do like... Um, he's got some things going. He has uh, some priority uh, in extreme speed. He even has, like, vacuum wave, and I think he has bull, uh, bullet punch as well as mop punch. Um, he can set up swords dance. I like how he can attack from... He can set up nasty fly. He can attack from both physical and special. Um, this is another pretty pretty offensive core. I mean, you obviously can go either way, but, um, yeah, just another fairly offensive core going here. I don't love that uh, Absol and Lucario share a weakness, but what are you going to do? Uh, moving on here, uh, we have Ozzy Merrill. Um, I thought this was a pretty good pick. Um, Ozzy Merrill is just very powerful. Um, I like the Fairy Steel thing he's got going on there. Um, dragons are going to have a hard time getting through with his team. Um, yeah, do you have anything to say about Ozzy Merrill? No, I think that, I mean, well, no, nothing really to add. Just he's Fairy Steel, very powerful for a third round. I think he's a really good pick. Okay. Um, 
the toggle case here, I think, I think this is kind of the round where you start seeing a lot of people's cores come together. Um, this was the very part uh, of my uh, three cores here. Um, I don't love that uh, toggle kiss shares uh, a weakness with guard chomp and ice, uh, but honestly, they the core has pretty good typing synergy on the mass. Scissor can take all those ice type attacks, ice type attacks just fine. Um, he can take, um, I don't know, I like it. He can take, uh, yeah, a lot of things. Also, he's a defog user. Um, also, I can get free wins off of para flinching people to death with uh, air smash. <laughs> uh, <coughs> sorry, one second, guys. Uh, go ahead and uh, move on to Celebi here. The next pick, Zach attacks took Celebi. He <coughs> is a pretty good tier. He's tier two. One, right? he's tier, tier, two. tier two. He's a tier two mon. He's pretty good. He goes all right with what he has going so far. Yeah, um, I'd like to see a physical attacker out of uh, Zach attack. Uh, he doesn't have one yet. Um, I like that um, Stella is a pretty versatile mon. Uh, I, I, I could see the start here of maybe he's going for a fire water or a fire water grass core. I, I see the Celebi and the big Corian. That's nice. Um, yeah. Obviously, he's come up with a way to patch up that bug weakness, but obviously, Zapdos uh, helps with that. Uh, here we have Swampert. I think this was honestly more of just like a I love Swampert pick. Uh, we actually had expected uh, this guy here to pick Mega Swampert and go for like a rain team because we know he loves. Uh, Swamper so much, uh, but it's still a decent pick here. Um, it uh, it takes water type attacks for Tyranitar. It takes fire type attacks for Ferrothorn. Um, it's a pretty good bulky mod. It's another Stealth Rock Setter, I believe. I have to double check on that. Um, but uh, yeah, just a, a pretty good mod, a tier three solid mod. Very bulky this team is so far. Um, yeah. So moving on to pick of the round. Uh, why don't you go first? For me, it was Azumarill. For being in the third round, it started, it, it gets a Steel Fairy type going, and, he, and she's just a really powerful mod. And to get her in the third round, I think it's a very good pick. Yeah, it's a good, uh, it's a good pick. You can take, obviously, he resists the, uh, he resists water or for Heatran. Um, he resists fighting for Heatran, which is nice. Um, and then Heatran actually is immune to the poison that does. Uh, Mineral's weak too. He resists the grass times four. It's all good. Um, yes. It, oh, mine was actually Azelf. I, I really like uh, I like this core here. It's fast. Um, again, like I said, it hits hard. And really, I, I, I kind of hit me. For some reason, I, I didn't see the water fighting here or the dark fighting here. It didn't click with me until here. I was like, oh, okay, I see. Um, so I, I just like that pick. And I'm kind of tying this team uh, together. Um, next, actually, the next pick here was Scizor. Um, he can't get the Mega, why not? Yeah, he wanted the Mega until he gets the regular one. Um, it actually works okay with this team. Obviously, this isn't great. The Ferrothorn plus the Scissor. Uh, not, not amazing typing there, uh, Synergy, because, of course, they do both get hit by the fire, but he does have two, um, two, uh, two fire resistances, so... Not really the end of the world there. Uh, and obviously, Scissor is very powerful. I'm sure you all know that. Uh, next, we have Mega Sharpedo, which I thought was kind of an e-pick. Um, I don't, I don't love it um, for some reasons. Um, it, 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 it compounds that bug weakness I was talking about. That needs to be a little bit careful of with Celebi. Um, something like a U-turn, a Bolt Turn Core, can really do a lot of damage to his team uh, simply because of that uh, bug weakness. And plus, he's now developing a little bit of an electric weakness. Um, but on his own, very fast. Hard. Yeah, yeah. I would say on his own, uh, Mega Sharpedo is still a pretty good pick. Um, can sweep teams with the speed boost and then switching into Mega Sharpedo or turning into Mega Sharpedo. Um, he's going to outspeed just about everything. Um, very frail. He's be a little bit careful with that. But again, um, pretty decent coverage. Uh, Water Dark is another one of those typings like Keldeo's <laughs> that is just very hard to actually resist both uh, ways. So there's very little. There's very few switch-ins for Mega Sharpedo. Um, the next pick here was Arcanine. Um, I kind of wanted a, a bit of a defensive mod. I feel like I've gone mostly offense. I know, really, I guess realistically, all three of my mods could be offensive or defensive. Um, but I wanted a fire type. I wanted to kind of have my eye down the line here, maybe picking up a fire, water, grass core for my team. Um, I wanted kind of something that can... Uh, I like that it's so flexible. Um, I like that... It, uh, it can be offensive or defensive. 
um, much like the rest of my team. Uh, yeah, I didn't feel like it really hurt any of my, um, it didn't hurt any of my like weaknesses and I think it helped a little bit. It helped patch up my ice weakness I have so far a little bit. Um, I liked that. Um, Mega Aerodactyl here was picked by um, our friend, uh, the Orlando Magic Carp. Um, yeah, just a very fast, very hard-hitting Mon, uh, much like Mega Sharpedo, just kind of wants to hit some hit things and hit them really fast. Uh, doesn't love taking hits, but can deal them out pretty well. Uh, next, if we move on, we have the Tentacruel. Um, like a spinner? Yeah, I wanted a spinner. Uh, I wanted something to take fighting attacks. Um, because I just, I, I see that he has a bit of a fighting weakness so far. Um, I also like that it takes the, um, the fire type moves <coughs> aimed at the Lucario. Um, I think it even takes the bug type moves aimed at Mew and Absol. Um, so I just, I kind of like all that, that package, uh, in together. It's a little flexible. I've seen offensive ones sometimes. Uh, usually they're defensive, of course, especially defensive at least, um, and, uh, yeah, just a decent mon. Very fast for a wall as well. Well, he's kind of a wall. Uh, Fortress here. Um, I do kind of like this pick as well. It just, um, I like that offense, offense, offense. Okay, I need some defense. Um, also, it gives him both a rapid spinner and a stealth rocker, which I like. Um, Azelf can set up stealth rocks, but I just like that. Uh, he, he does. He needed a spinner. Yeah, he needed a spinner, and I remember him walking up to the board and said, I think it's time to get a spinner. Spinners are almost out. Yeah. Um, um, I do like, too, that this is kind of sneaky, but he actually, oops, uh, apologies. He does actually have a volt, a volt turn core here. Fortress can or volt switch, funnily enough. Uh, and Azelf does learn the U turn. So, kind of funny he picked that up. I don't even know if he knew that, like, when he picked it, because I think it's just. What? He has a volt switch? Oh, okay. Why does he have a volt switch? One, um, one thing we forgot to say about the Dizzy Falcon team is their team is not final because oh, yes. they are actually over by 20 points. They're, they're 20 points over. Um, we're trying to resolve that. We will get that to you. Um, we don't. I don't want to say anything about what's going to happen because uh, I just don't know what he's going to want to do. I gave him some options, uh, but some of the picks he can switch. But, yeah, we'll see. Uh, last pick of the round was Entei. This pick was basically Sacred Fire. <laughs> yeah. I I think that it's a very strong move. 50% chance of uh, burn, mm -hmm. which is very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like um, I like a lot of the sets in Take and Run. His move pool isn't huge, um, but he has decent speed. Uh, he can run Scarf. He can run Band. Band Choice Banded uh, in Take is horrifying. Um, I like Extreme Speed, uh, which is nice. It, it doesn't have huge... Uh, Distribution, so it's always nice when you see a mon with extreme speed. Um, one thing I will say about the team so far uh, is I don't love that uh, you kind of are developing a bit of a water weakness here um, at this point in the draft, at least. Um, don't worry, I take care of it. Oh. I know, I know. Uh, but, but anyways, yeah. So he does have a little bit of a water weakness here, uh, but again, uh, very powerful mon in uh, in take. Pick it around. Uh, pick it around. Uh, we actually both went with Inte here. I don't think this round featured a ton of crazy picks. Um, I thought the uh, I actually thought the Fortress pick was okay, the Tin Cool pick. There was a lot of decent picks, but I don't know, Ente is just very strong. Um, you know. Um, okay, uh, first pick of the fifth round. Um, I went Mega Charizard Y. I think with his special attack was 156, 159. 159. 159 base special attack. He can be a special sweeper if I needed him to. And he also, I wanted to start developing a little bit of a sun team, and with drought, you know, it shows up a little bit later, but with drought, that does help me with mm -hmm. setting up a sun team. Yeah, yeah. Um, one thing I want to note, too, I like this about this pick. Uh, this was in one of my uh, favorites for the round, at least. Um, I, I really, really, really liked that it helped his water weakness a lot. Uh, because obviously water does have damage in the sun, so I, I, I like that for that reason. What I don't like is that stealth rocks against this guy. Yeah, uh, you see here he's also developing a little bit of a stealth rock. His last three picks are actually all linked to rocks, something he <coughs> might want to get rid of. Of course, he does have two ways to get rid of um, rocks so far. Uh, I will say, though, the Salamence usually is not something you, you don't really want to bring Defog on him, but it is nice that he has uh, just that ability. 
Uh, moving on here, we're just going to keep the megas up here. Um, mega septile was the pick. Um, I don't really know what like the exact reason for it. I do like at this point, I'm like, oh, maybe he's gone for a Steel Dragon Fairy Core, uh, like kind of a late pick Steel Dragon Fairy Core. I thought maybe that was who he was going for. Um, plus, I like that uh, this thing's biggest weakness uh, it is the... Uh, is the ice, and he already has, I believe, two ice weaknesses, three ice weaknesses on his team. I like that. Um, the, only, just, the only thing I know is that he did say that he wanted Mega Aerodactyl with this pick. He did. And Mega Sceptile was his backup. Yeah, he did for say that. His Mega pick here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so just a very fast, very hard hitting Mon. Um, I like that it's electric immune. Um, I don't know, just a pretty fast, pretty hard hitting one. I like that it also has decent, a physical attack, so it can run uh, some kind of set there as well. Um, moving on, uh, we have the Gliscor. Um, at this point, I really didn't know what to do with Andy's team, but I knew, I was like, well, he kind of needs another Stealth Rocker. Um, and he's kind of, I don't know, and, and I kind of want another thing a little bit defensive with his first three picks being, well, I will say Mew can be offensive as well. Um, and Gliscor can just be a very annoying um, mod, as I'm sure many of you know. Um, plus, at this point in time, um, I felt pretty safe going for a uh, like the ice water weakness. Considering he, we have one thing that resists water, two things that resists ice. Didn't really add anything to it. Gives us another decent physical attacker. <coughs> um, the Blissey is next. Um, 255 base HP set. Yeah, 135 base special defense. Just very, very hard to deal with on that side. Um, I'm not sure what made him pick Blissey over Chansey. I don't know if he even, like, I don't know if that was going through his mind, if he wanted one or the other. Uh, but he did go with the Blissey, uh, which is a fine pick on its own. I, I, I think maybe in the in the league format, Blissey actually might be a little bit better uh, than, than Chansey, which is obviously different in, like, OU, um, just because you, you just always bring knockoff, basically, if uh, you almost always bring a knockoff on your team. Um, and that obviously cripples the, the chance. <coughs> the only thing you have to be careful with against the Blissey is uh, setup bait. Yeah, yeah, I definitely don't want to uh, switch him in to fight something with Swords and some Calm Minds, all that kind of stuff. <coughs> Unless you can, I don't know, beat it still. Um, Next we have the Mammal Swine. Um, I, don't, I wanted another way to set up rocks that gave me some offensive pressure. I felt like um, at this point my team is just so like middle of the road. Like it's well, Guard Chomp is almost always offensive, but he could even go both ways. There's a lot of mods here that are just very middle of the road. Um, Mammal Swine is kind of somewhat, um, and at this point I feel like my team is bulky offense, which I kind of figured um, Mammal Swine just kind of fits into that. Um, I like his priority ice shard. It gives me pretty much always a check to a dragon. Even if a dragon sets up 10 dragon dances, I don't care. Uh, now so I can come in and ice shard it and hopefully do a good chunk. Um, also, the ground coverage I like. Uh, I didn't really... Uh, I, I like that it's another... Um, I like that it's an ice resistance uh, for my, the rest of my team. Yeah, just a pretty good mod. Here we have Flareon. I, I don't have a ton to say here other than... I like that now he has a uh, fire, water, grass core. Um, I don't love his move pool, but again, uh, yeah. First tier five taken. Is that true? That I probably is so. true. Yeah, first tier five taken. <coughs> okay, um, the last pick of the draft here. Or not last pick of the draft. Last pick of the round. Um, we have Volcanion. Uh, very, very strong Pokemon. Um, does a lot of things for this team, really. Um, he, it gives him, we had talked a little bit how he had a little bit of a fire weakness, um, uh, and, and, uh, immunity to water. And he has an immunity to water, which is nice to the Tyranitar. Um, but again, it is nice that he has that four times fire resist to help, uh, When, before, about <coughs> two days before the draft, I had my, about two days before the draft, my, uh, plan was to take Volcanion in the first round, and then I, decided to go with the Sancor, but I'm a very big fan of Volcanion, and I think he's worthy of being higher. I think he was a steal at this point in the draft. Yeah, I, I agree. I think he was a, uh, a pretty good pick. Um, again, yeah, like I said, he's, he helps his, I do think he helps his team. Um, yeah, and we've actually both had him as a pick of the round, so yeah. Just a very powerful one, honestly. 
Uh, <coughs> again, we're snaking around. Getting to that flag on. Um, I like flag on here a little bit. Uh, he it gets him a dragon. Uh, so if, if he finds a team that doesn't have like a steel or fairy type or something, uh, he can maybe throw a scarf on this uh, and, and just click outrage a couple times towards the end of the game, and he'll sweep up the game just fine. Uh, I like too that it gives him um, a ground immunity for the volcano he just got, and the, uh, and the Tyranitar. Um, gives him a rock resistance. Uh, it also learns Defog, uh, which is very helpful um, for his team because right now he has, that was actually his second way, I believe, to get rid of rocks. So I, I like that he was able to pick up the flag on here. Gyarados uh, was the next pick. Um, pretty offensive threat. Um, can actually also be kind of defensive, I suppose, but uh, Gyarados set up Dragon Dancer 2, can also sleep a team. Um, I, I like, too, that he just picked the player on the, t the, the, the pick before, which most of the things that wall Gyarados in general are the uh, are grass types, I would say, because most of the time it's going to be like, it's going to be like uh, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Waterfall, and something else. Sometimes I've seen it be Ice Fang, sometimes I've seen it be Stone Edge. Um, and in general, uh, if they don't take the Ice Fang, um, grass types can be a problem. Um, which Flareon definitely helps patch up. Here we have the, Jol the Jolteon. Um, I wanted a Volt Switcher uh, to, to kind of complete my Mega Scizor U turn slash Volt Switch core, uh, and I thought Jolteon was just the best one left um, for the rate. Um, I really didn't want to pick like a higher tier one, like Raikou or something. I just didn't really have the, the tier one um, on to spare here. Um, very fast gives me at the same time too. I looked through my team and I was like, wow, my whole team is almost physically offensive. I need something special, um, especially offensive. So I, I, I took the Jolteon on here. I just thought he fit, he fit well with my team. I I almost had this as my um, pick of the round. I think that it's a strong spe special attacker and it's very important to have a fast electric type. And Jolteon's very fast and I have a good bolt switcher. I agree. <laughs> um, next here we have. Uh, the Gastrodon. Um, this picks pretty good. It gives him um, a lot of resistances, actually. Uh, it does give him. <coughs> um, it does. He doesn't really have a grass weakness, but it, it obviously does have four times grass weakness. Um, but again, he ran four times resistance. Scolipede four times resistance. Um, so really not the end of the world there. Um, obviously doesn't have a lack of resistance. It gives him some more bulk. Um, which um, his team doesn't honestly need that much. <laughs> he's got Heatran, he's got Blissey, uh, but Gastrodon, uh, it's a good mod. Maybe he, yeah, I don't know, maybe he expects to run like a Rain Dance team or something and wants to run the Rain Dish Gastrodon or whatever. Um, next, we have Galantula. Um, this mod, um, I was kind of thinking the same thing that I was thinking in my, uh, in my team. I was like, well, I, I kind of want a Volt Switcher. I don't have an Electric type attack, uh, Mon yet. <clears throat> it doesn't give me another ground weakness because, like, Tentacruel obviously has the ground weakness with Lucario, but um, Bug actually resists ground, which is nice, so I, I don't have that ground weakness. Also, this gives him Sticky Webs, um, which can actually be super great with Lucario. Um, speed, slow down some of those threats so he can actually outspeed uh, them. Here we have Rotom Wash. Um, this pick's actually great. I, mean, I really like Rotom Wash. This is, this is unfortunately one of the picks that he might have to let go. Um, but uh, I think it's a steal pick at this point in the draft. Yeah, it's a very good, it's a very good mod. Uh, it also, much like what we were talking about, it does complete his, uh, it, it gives him a better bolt turn cord than the Fortress Azel. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, it can be, it can be defensive and offensive, which is something I like in my picks. Uh, yeah, just a solid mon. Um, he actually has a grass, he doesn't really have much of a grass weakness. Make up top four times resist. I think Fortress four times resist. Keldeo is only weak to it, so the grass weakness isn't a big deal there. Uh, also gives him a nice resist for his mix up top, which I like. The last pick of the round here. You can start to see the Sun team coming together. Yes, the with, Sun team. <laughs> with the, the Sun Sun team. team. <laughs> it's, it might be the first ever Sun Sand team. It might be. It might be. It's, it's the son of Amasan. He's a big fan of weather. Don't, don't, doesn't like the rain, though. <laughs> no, not the rain. <laughs> um, but or hail. 
I guess. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, synthesis, solar beam doesn't have to charge. It's a good pick to go with the Charizard, Mega Charizard line and with the drill. Yeah, it is. It's a good pick. Um, yeah, I have nothing really to add. Um, so if we go to the pick of the round, uh, we actually, again, we both had Venusaur. That's right. We both had Venusaur. Uh, I, do, I do like it with the Mega Charizard. I thought it was a pretty cool pick. Uh, what is it, a Tier 3 Mon? Mm, yes, it is. Yeah, Tier 3. So, um, you know, not like he gave up a huge huge amount of value for it. I was very close to picking Jolteon just because oh, yeah? the speed. Faster. Well, I, I had already picked Jolteon. No, I mean, I mean for the for the pick it around. Oh, oh, oh. I okay. was very close to picking Jolteon for the fast electric type, good special attack, and the Volt Switch. Yeah, it was a good pick too. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Austin liked the uh, Volt Switch uh, Jolteon idea so much. I actually was planning on doing this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fast electric type yeah. Volt Switcher, electric. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're not as fast as Jolteon, but. No, not as fast. Doesn't hit as hard, uh, but also costs uh, much less in terms of points. Tier four. Four. Uh, much like Jolteon has a little bit of a problem with his move pool, not a huge move pool, um, but he does learn, I think, like Flamethrower, right? Yes, he does. Flamethrower and, and, and Overheat, uh, over uh, which is nice. Uh, and then, so generally, you're going to run something like Volt Switch Thunderbolt. Um, if you had the rain, you'd run Thunder. But, anyways, Volt Switch Thunderbolt, um, <laughs> Heat Wave, and then whatever, or Overheat, and then whatever, your Hidden Power. Can't have all the waves on one team. I mean, you're trying to guess. <laughs> I think if we had 15 picks, you might have. <laughs> All right. Uh, on to the next pick here. Uh, we have my Superior. I don't. Uh, I, I like that he's giving himself another rock setter. Um, I think Azelf. He's got Azelf and Fortress so far. Um, my Superior gives him another option. Also gives him some more bulk. Um, yeah. You got anything to say? No. Yeah. He doesn't really have much of a water weakness or a grass weakness. Uh, well, we already talked about the grass, but yeah, doesn't really have much water weakness with uh, Sceptile and Rotom here, so I think this is a fine pick. Um, here's the Bronzong. Um, I wanted to get another way to set up rocks, just in case, for whatever reason, Gliscord needs to move. Needs to move. Um, also, or he doesn't have a good matchup, you don't want to take him. Yeah, yeah. Also, um, I like that Bronzong has the two abilities, either Heat Proof or Levitate. Uh, I think most of the time we're going to bring Levitate uh, just helps with the uh, the uh, Lucario and Tenta Cruel Weakness. Uh, ditto. Yeah, ditto. Uh, you want to take this one? Um, well, I he can literally be anything. He can. He can be your opponent's best mod. <laughs> yeah. Except faster, because he throws Scarf on. Most yeah. I was in the expert belt video, which was ditto, which was pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, this was I thought a good pick. Uh, I, I like ditto in the draft format. It just it kind of ditto kind of just seems to scale well. Like he just scales with the power of your opponent's team, and I, just, I like that about him. Don't want to bring him in against a dragon type though. No, no. Uh, <laughs> he learned that earlier that uh, yeah, you, you don't bring in ditto uh, against a dragon that's not the dragon. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all i got to say about that. Uh, next is Umbreon. I just love Eevee, so... No, I'm just kidding. Um, I did take Umbreon here. Um, I wanted... I felt like I really only... I didn't have a ton of... Um, hmm. I just wanted another wall. Um, and I wanted um, a Cleric if I needed it. Um, and I like that he learned both Wish uh, as well as Heal Bell, uh, just in case, for whatever reason, I felt like uh, I, I needed that. Um, and it gives me some more bulk. Uh, I don't really have much of a fighting weakness um, or a bug weakness, so I wasn't too worried about that. Togekiss four times resists it. Uh, Mammoth Slime is weak to it, to fighting, uh, but again, I, I wasn't too. I have my fa I don't have a huge fairy weakness either. Uh, Scissor resists it, Arcanine resists it. So. Surprised you didn't take regular Eevee too. Only Eevee's you take him. Oh, I took just as many as Zack Attack. Who is our next pick, actually? Uh, who took Togetic, which I guess is just poor man's Togekiss, so I think it's a fine pick. It's a pretty it's pretty late in the draft here, um, so I think it's fine. With Eevee, like, uh, his defenses can get... Uh, Are they the same tier? Togekiss and Togekiss? No, Togekiss is two, Togetic is four, as I said, so it's kind of just like the cheap, cheap uh, Togekiss. And with an Eevee, like, could be good. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Um, obviously, it doesn't have the same... Uh, really, 
could you could argue it could have more defensive uh, presence, but probably not more offensive presence just because of the special attack. Uh, the last pick of this round was Don Fan. Um, I like this pick too. Uh, I like that it gives him another way to get rid of rocks and a way to uh, set them up. Um, I also like that uh, I, I like Ice Shard as a move a lot. Um, it just allows you to check all those dragons. Um, and Dawn Fan has a pretty high attack and can can use that Ice Shard to threaten dragons. He's one of the few good spears left. That's true. There's not a ton. Uh, and yeah, he's he's a tier three. I think. Leaps. He's either three or four. Mm, I don't think he's four. Anyways, uh, moving on. Oh, we almost forgot. Pick a round for round seven. Uh, we both had Ditto. Uh, just, I don't know, I like the pick. Uh, it just, it gives him more offensive presence on his team, uh, which I think, uh, with kind of his run of defensive minds, uh, he was starting to lack, but I, I think this helps patch that up. Why pick one Pokemon when you can pick all the Pokemon? That's right. That's a good quote. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> next here uh, we have the Milotic. A pretty powerful one to be this late. Um, I think it's his first water type. I know it's the second water type, uh, but I, I, I'm just a fan of bulky waters in general. Um, doesn't help his uh, grass weakness with uh, Tyranitar, uh, Swamp Burton, Dog Fan. Uh, but then again, he has Ferrothorn, he has Scizor, um, he has uh, yeah, Ferrothorn and Scizor both four times resistant, uh, which is nice. Um, so, not the end of the world. Um, yeah, just another bulky. You can see this team is just very bulky. His fastest one so far is Flygon, and he's not crazy. What's his base speed? Flygon? Yeah. 100. I think that's actually, yeah, that's the fastest one he has on his team, period. Um, Moving right along, we have a Moongus here. Um, I actually thought this pick was pretty good. Um, Pushing me off the camera. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, gives him a um, some uh, uh, gives him a grass resist, which he needs for some of his water mons here. It gives him um, a uh, an electric resist, which helps his Gyarados a lot. Um, just a pretty bulky threat. His team's also pretty bulky. Um, his fastest mon obviously is that Mega Sharpedo, but still. Pretty bulky here. I think that's a very good pick. Yeah. Um, next, um, I went with the slow bro. Um, I actually didn't have a water type yet, and I just been talking about bulky waters, um, and I really wanted to get one. Uh, helps with the uh, ice weakness that uh, again I talked about earlier, which I, I just want to make sure I can patch that up because that is part of kind of my main uh, game plan. Most games is probably going to involve that core. Um, also, can set up gives me more. I talked earlier about how I was a little worried I was getting too. Um, Physically offensive. Uh, you'll see here I actually have a run of specially offensive mons that can uh, that definitely make me maybe even almost more uh, more specially offensive than I am um, uh, physically offensive. Also, I like that he's so bold. What made you take him over Volcarona? I don't know. We were talking about this earlier. I, I almost picked Volcarona here, um, but I, I kind of just it, the thing that tipped it out of the scale for me. The water. It just I wanted a bulky water. Uh, and I don't, I don't know, I don't love that it gives me another um, water weakness. Uh, I don't know, I don't yeah. love it. Um, if it silver definitely fit your team better. I think so too. Uh, here we have the Cuff Fabregas. Um, I don't really know the reason behind this pick. You probably just wanted a bulky Mon uh, who can, I think he has like toxic spikes, which is nice. Um, set up some more hazards. Um, I, I don't have much to say about this pick. It's just a bulky, bulky mon. Uh, gives him a ghost type. Gives him a spin blocker, which is nice. He wanted the coffin guy. He did. He wanted the coffin guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't know. It gives him a fighting immunity, which is nice, I guess, for Heatran as well as Blissey. So maybe he had that thought process going. I don't know. Next up, the Neuburn. Um, I wanted something fast. Because uh, his team is medium speed. What's this? I think his fastest guy is Mega Absol after Mega Evolution. Um, but Neuberg definitely also that gives him a Dragon type, which I like. Um, I, I just kind of like having flying dragon. Um, and uh, yeah, just hits fairly hard, and I think is one of the fastest mons in the. I think he's like 120 something base speed. So just a very fast mon. Um, Pretty low tier, which I like. Tier four, right? Tier four. 
23 um, speed and tier 4 is for you? Yeah, and he has like 97 or 98 special attack, um, which if you throw like specs on him or something, uh, he can he can hit. Um, pretty, can I say pretty good pick here? Helios? Yeah. Yeah, I like this pick a lot actually. Uh, this was in my running for pick of the uh, pick of the round. Um, I, I liked that it. it gave him a bolt switcher, even though he does already have one with the road of wash. Yes, two. Fortress. Oh yeah, fortress. Uh, whatever the fortress. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, I, I don't know. It's just a pretty good. Uh, I like that he he did pick a fast electric type. Uh, pretty decent uh, coverage on Helios too. I, I think he even has like focus blast, uh, which is cool. Um, just a pretty decent mod, especially this light. I think he's got 109 base speed and 109 special attack. Oh, he does get into another fighting weakness, but oh well. Because um, he has normal electric. Um, I will give this to you for sure. I wanted to get another uh, steel type, and I think that his stats are pretty good. Obviously, I would have much rather had the Mega, but he's banned and I already have a Mega. But um, I think yeah, I think his stats are very good for an eight round pick. Yeah, yeah, pretty good one. Um, yeah, it's hard. Um, pick the round. What did we pick for the round? A Moongus. We did. We picked the Moongus. It's a good solid pick. Um, pretty strong this late in the round uh, the draft. I like that it can spread like uh, status around. It's got sleep powder. Build in some of his weaknesses. Build in some of his weaknesses. Just a pretty good mod. Going to number nine. This is one of my most proud picks of the draft. Sand Slash to go along with my sand, my sand, not my, not my sand. Uh, it does go along. Along. <laughs> but my sand core. It kind of goes your side because it, it it eliminates his water weakness. Yeah, but he has he's another one of the mods with the sand rush. So he can go very, be very fast in the sand in. Tier 5, he's cheap. Yeah, yeah, very cheap pick. I do like this pick a lot. Gives him another way to set up rocks and another way to get rid of them. And I love picks that do that. So. It's my second one. Yep. Yeah, you have uh, what, one, yes. two, three ways to set rocks, and one, two, three ways to get rid of rocks. I like that. Uh, next year we have Butterfree. I have nothing to say about this pick. This was <laughs> the best stats in the game. This was, yeah, this was just a complete. This guy likes Butterfree. I'm a Butterfree pick. So I don't know what when he made it. He's it. like, I just gotta make sure I get him. I gotta lock him up here. Yeah, I, I don't. I have. No, I don't think there was any logical reasoning behind this pick. He just likes Butterfree. Whatever he said, he is going to use in the week one against me. Let's see if he does. He did say that. I, I guess you could do something with it. To be honest with you, you could run like Quiver Dance, which is a very strong move, or maybe he could like. Vuitton pass into it after some. I don't know what he's going to do, but good on you, buddy. Um, <laughs> next here we have uh, the Infernape, uh, which I thought was a super great pick, uh, especially this late in the draft. Just probably uh, one of the more powerful mods available. Very uh, offense, very physical and special offensive. Yep, very offensive. fast. Add speed to his team, which I had said I felt like he was missing. Uh, his team does not seem slow at all now. Uh, he has, uh, let's see, he's got. This is like 112 or 115 or something, uh, 100, 107, uh, 120 something, 108. Just suddenly not a slow team. Uh, next here is the Haxorus. I actually like this pick. Uh, you big fan Haxorus? Yeah, just huge special attack. Just throw a scarf on him uh, and kill the steels and the fairies and then just click outrage until everything dies and it will, I promise. Um, also, I do like this kind of like sneakily fills in his uh, steel. Fairy Dragon Core that he kind of started quite a while ago. Um, yeah, I like that pick. Uh, here we have Septile. I didn't really have like a, I didn't know what I wanted this round. I was looking through my team and I was like, oh, I'm really close to a Fire Water uh, uh, Grass Core. Um, and my last couple picks had been pretty defensive, so I wanted uh, something speedy uh, that can hit relatively hard, and so I almost kept it. And you needed some more special attackers. I don't really know if I do anymore, to be honest with you. I have one. Two, three, four. Uh, so, yeah. But I, I do, I do agree. I, I, I just need. I didn't. At this point, I have enough physical and special attackers that like, like I have one, two, three, four. So like, I'm fine no matter what. Like I don't. I feel like at this point I can pick more special or physical. I think I have the versatility now to do that. 
Um, yeah, I like this pick a lot. Uh, Skarmory, uh, honestly, maybe the most just raw, powerful mon on his team. Uh, like, if I was just to rank literally every Pokemon on strength uh, in the uh, the draft like league format, um, this would probably be the most powerful one I have on his team. Um, I love that this can get rid of rocks, it can, still, it can set rocks, it can set spikes, it can whirlwind. Uh, really likes Skarmory. Only two weaknesses, too. Uh, last pick of the draft, or last pick of the round, I keep doing that, uh, was Agron. Um, gives him another steel type, which is good. Um, doesn't help his water weakness that he's somewhat had with Dauntan, uh, Agron, uh, Tarantar, but, and, or his fighting weakness. Another four times fighting isn't great, um, but I, I don't know, he's fine. Gives him huge defense. Uh, pick of the round. We go first. We go first. I love it. Uh, just love that Pokemon. Uh, love what it brings to the team here. Um, just fast. It's hard. We talked about it. Uh, can even set up self rocks, which is nice. I went with Sand Slash. I was very proud of that pick. It One can. Pick. It can. It can set up rocks. It can be a spinner. It can, it has sand rush, it goes over my sand team. And like he said, in the sun, it also gets rid of its water weakness. Yeah. So I I think it goes great with my team. I, like, I was very proud of that pick. Yeah, it's a good pick. Uh, we had actually talked a little bit, uh, and it was pretty close for both of us. I was pretty close the, there. Between Sand Slash and Infernate. Uh, yeah. Um, so the first round of the, the uh, tenth, or the first pick of the tenth round. Uh, Team Instinct took Magmortar. Uh, Doesn't help his water weakness. Or his ground weakness. Uh, he's also got another ground weakness. I just realized. Uh, Megatarantar, Magmortar, uh, Volcanion. Um, but he does have some things that resist it. Uh, he's got the Fly God, um, which gives him an immunity, uh, which is nice. Um, yeah, uh, pretty good Mon, though. Uh, one of the best tier five mons, I think, just in terms of raw power level. If you um, watch the video, he's number five, right? Yep, yeah, number five. So yeah, I, I have him in my top five tier five mons. Um, so again, I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, next we have Golem. Um, I, I do like that he's finally getting, I don't know if any of you noticed, but he has almost no ways to set up self rocks until his 10th and 11th pick. Uh, he gives us two ways to set up self rocks in a row. I, I really like that. Um, I, don't made a, I don't know what made him choose Golem. Uh, or certain other ones, but um, I'm just glad he has another way to do it. Here, uh, here begins the run. Here begins the run. Uh, I picked him on top. Uh, this was actually a close pick for me uh, between him on top and him on Lee. Um, I ended up going with him on top uh, for a couple reasons. One, um, basically, I, I was like, do I want more physical offense or do I want another way to get rid of rocks? Um, I want the, the way to get rid of rocks. Um, and of course other hazards. Also, another thing that I, I kind of liked about this uh, pick was that it gave me um, kind of an Intimidator core. It gives me two things to switch into. I can just keep switching into them if I'm scared of something physical. Um, and, you know, eventually make it so he can't do anything. Uh, next here we got Hitmon Chan. This pick, um, this pick's pretty good. He's a pretty defensive mod. Um, it gives him another way to get rid of rocks, which again I like because if you look, he has not. <laughs> he has no way to get rid of rocks at this point, uh, and, and I like that he finally picked one. Um, I, I, I wish that it wasn't um, so late. Like I hope he's not forced to bring this a lot. Um, he does have a couple ways to set rocks. I know at least Lissy and Aerodactyl and Heatran off the top of my head can set rocks. Um, but again, I, I like that he finally picked um, a spinner. Ditto, depending on who he switches to. I guess ditto, depending on who he switches to. I hope he like switches. Into some stealth rocker that has magic bounce, so he bounces them back, and then, <laughs> like now he did them both at the same time. <laughs> but anyway, um, here him on me pick honestly was solely because they were like do it, do it, because we had picked both the hit ones, and they were like I'll just pick them. He um, was very offensive though. Yeah, he is very offensive. Though. Yeah, he is very offensive. Um, it gives him a couple more options too. He has this is his third fighting type, but obviously he doesn't have to bring it every week. Um, and I like. Go ahead. I was going to say, that's the only thing that, that's the only reason I don't like this pick is because it's just 35 bed. Right. 
One thing I do like though is it kind of gives him a lot more flexibility in his core because he can kind of be like, okay, I'm gonna bring Mew, Mega Absol, and then whichever three of these fighting types uh, he feels matches up the best, which is kind of cool. Um, we'll see how he is able to utilize that. And he keeps going with his. I mean, nine thousand is legitimate. Like, okay, I, this like, is a decent He's draftable, line. but he's still picked him because he's yeah. one of his favorites. Yeah, at this point, uh, this person honestly had kind of given up on the drafting. Mm-hmm. Felt like uh, he kind of wanted a top heavy team going into that. We knew that. Um, but uh, Nine Tails he likes. Um, it does give him a drought user, which is, oh, I just realized he might have just totally outsnared us. Heliodisc has solar power. Uh, Nine Tails plus Heliodisc is actually pretty powerful. Is he knows? Probably. We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Hopefully but, he doesn't watch it if he doesn't. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> uh, Heli- Nine Tails and Heliodisc uh, is actually a pretty powerful combo. Uh, gives him, um, just kind of shoots Heliodisc's uh, special attack through the roof. Um, yeah, actually kind of like his pick a little more. Um, just hope he gets to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, last pick of this round. Electros. He has no weaknesses. That's why he picked no weaknesses, which I guess is kind of cool. Uh, he gives him a ground immunity, uh, which he kind of has a little bit of here. Uh, Entei, Metagross, Manectric, uh, Anti-Ranitar, and Excadrill are all weak to ground. So having that uh, ground immunity uh, could definitely come it was in. It was between him and Cloudzer. Oh, Cloudzer? And, and the reason I would have took Cloudzer is because I don't have a U-Turner, and he's a water type that can move U-Turner. Hmm. Oh, you don't have a water type. Oh, and you just wanted to. Does he learn? Does yeah, he learn, I don't have a water. Does he learn Volt Switch? Electron? I couldn't tell you. Okay. Uh, he might. Not. But Manectric can, yeah, that's not you. That's true. That's true. But I just wanted to U-turn or two, but. I like his pick a lot better than Cloudster. I wouldn't even. Cloudster. Um, oh, never mind. Cloudster's pure water. For some reason, I was thinking he was water electric. Okay. Uh, pick of the draft. No, draft. Pick of the round. <laughs> Sorry. We went with. His hit him on top. That's right. We did go. I also have my hit him on top. Um, nothing here stood out to me crazily, actually, except now I almost want to switch to Nine Tails because that is sneaky cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I like too that it. Because uh, we were considering Nine Tails at the beginning, and now we probably would have been included. That was that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Nine Tails are hit him on top. Uh, yeah, they're both pretty good picks. Um, on to the last round. First pick around here. Sorry about the dog. Just went with another guy to go with my sun core. Got to get that core, bro. <laughs> breaking up that sun. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically what it was. It was either him or Scotland to go with the Sam. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can buy that. And you already had two Sam rushers and yeah. one. Okay. That's why, because I had two and then only one. All right, I can buy that. I am really interested to see how this team actually plays. I I, I I like the idea of the double the double weather. I, I'm a little worried that they might conflict a little bit. I just I would hate to see him like like have Mega Venusaur in, but there's the sand out, but he really like but he can't switch Venusaur out because the other guy has like a water. T- I don't know, I, but I hope it works. Regular Venusaur, not Mega. Whatever. If you have Mega Venusaur, you're right. Everyone needs to tell me because it's cheap. Okay. Wait, what? If you have anything to shot, you might need to tell us some cheaters. Okay, uh, next pick in this round uh, was Dudong. Uh, I think Save this was another uh, kind of just homer pick by him. Um, but I mean, hey, at least it gives him a really good eight, ice resistance. Eight times resistance. Mega set power, so I can buy that. Uh, it gives him another fire resistance, gives him another water resistance. Um, I don't know. It, it's movable is actually pretty wide, but. I don't know what he's going to do with it. No, not the best stats. I'm here on with Labrys. I didn't really know what he wanted, so I tried to pick the most versatile tier 5 mom I could think of. Um, and Labrys' move is absurd. Uh, he can be defensive, he can be offensive, both physically and specially. So that's what I meant with. I'm going to get Packer to start working. He's fine, I'll tell you what All right. Uh, next we have Marowak. Um, again, this is another pick. I don't, I don't actually know the reasoning for it. Uh, but I, I do like that it can get huge attacks. That's what Pick Club, so hopefully he does something cool with that. Pick Club. Pick Club, yep. Just the doubles his attacks that. I know, I just feel like saying that. Oh, uh, you feel like saying that. Yeah, I guess, I guess, honestly, you could throw, oh no, I was going say you could throw a scarf on it, but you can't throw a scarf in Pick Club. I don't know what you're going to do with it, uh, but still a pretty cool pick. Maybe um, we'll use it. We'll find out. Yeah, I mean, it is your last pick. Um, 
This paper is pretty close for me. Um, this was for me between Miss Magius and Miltank. Um, I, I kind of wanted another way to get up rocks. Uh, I only had the two, uh, the the two ways to get up rocks, but I think that's, I think that's fine. I, I think I'll get by with that. Um, and I, I, it was close. Uh, it was basically the tension of, do I want another way to get up rocks? Uh, and the downside is, if I pick Miss Magius, I don't get that. The other downside, though, for picking Miltank. Um, well, I think my teams would almost start becoming too defensive, um, and, and I wanted to keep up the offensive pressure. Um, so I went with one of the better offensive threats, I think, in, um, well, just in, in Tier 5 and Miss Magius. Gives me a pretty good speed tier, too, at 105. I don't think I hit that one anywhere. I think it's funny that out of your top five Tier 5s, the only one that didn't get picked is number one. one. That's true. Well, no. What was my top five? Electrovirus, well, uh, Magmar, Miss Magius, oh, and Sandslash. Sandslash was number two. That's right. Yep. Okay. Um, second last pick of the draft. We have Typhlosion. Um, he didn't have a tier four. He didn't have a tier four yet. Um, he needed to pick one. Um, Typhlosion's decent. I mean, he's he's got, what, 100 base speed, 109 special attack. So, I mean, that's usable. You throw a scarf on him or specs. Um, he learns... What is that move? The move that it does max a lot of damage if he's full health, but he does less damage if he's less health. You know what I'm talking about? I do, but I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. Whatever. I think it's like eruption or something. Anyways. Yeah, because I have it on a heat trick, but I don't know what it's called. Yeah, pretty good move. Um, so kind of a one-trick pony in that way, but if he can uh, get that thing rolling, it'll do a lot of damage. The, uh, now you can say the last pick of the... The last pick of the 2016 PDL draft. But more directly, uh, is Electrovire. Um, like it's a pretty it. good pick. Uh, again, it, it actually hurts his ground weakness we've been talking about with Electrovire, Magmortar, Agron, Volcanion, uh, and Mega Tyranitar. Um, but it does give him an Electro type, which he basically did not have. Uh, he can throw a Scarf on here and Expert Belt. Uh, Electrovire's move pull is huge. Much I, like Magmortar. I think it's funny because when he picked Magmortar, I told him, I said, I. I said, I think I like the luck to buy better. And then he comes to the next round and takes him. He showed you. <laughs> um, all right. Um, we so both had a luck to buy her as we pick it around. We did. Um, just uh, one of the better mods in the, in the last round. Really, I think it I was think. him or Victory Bell. <laughs> of course you do. And, or, I mean, or any of the other. I mean, these <laughs> are all pretty low tiers. I don't know how much all these are going to see play. Um, but I, I just think the fire stands out as the most powerful one. Yep. Um, okay, so now we can say pick of the drafts, which I've been apparently wanting to say for a long time. Who do you want to go first? I'll go first. Um, I had Infernape. I just loved uh, the value uh, that late in the draft. I, I think he's just super versatile. His team is actually very, like, how do you prepare for a Mew and an Infernape? You have no idea what either of those are going to do any given week. Um, I like that a lot. Um, and especially considering. Um, like, I think Mew is the better Pokemon in the drafting format, but I think I like Infernape as the pick better just because he picked Mew first. Uh, he picked uh, Infernape ninth. So if I they would have been better. switched, Mew definitely would have been there. Oh, yeah, he would have been there. <laughs> I was surprised Infernape was. Uh, so go ahead with yours. I took uh, Volcanion because, as I said earlier, like, I was going to take him in the first round. For a fifth, or fifth round pick, I think... He's a very good pick. He has a fire water fire water immunity and he does uh he's the only person only mom that can learn steam eruption, right? Yep. Steam eruption, it's it's basically a better skull. That's true. And I think he's very powerful mom. Very powerful. And for the fifth round he's really good. Yeah, yeah. Uh in the GBA he went in the first round. Er, yeah, first yeah, round. Yeah, first round. So very good mom. Um and has been doing a lot of work in that uh, league if you guys haven't seen. Um, Do you want to go like back and forth for this? Sure. So the last thing we want to talk about here real quick um, is uh, mods that should have been picked that we think. Um, I guess I started first with the other thing, so you can start with this one. My first one is Landers Theorem. I think that he's just, in general, a very powerful mod. I know he was going to pick him. He was one of my plans. Or if Mega Scissor was gone, right? If Mega Scissor was gone, he was my next plan for my first I, round pick. He's very powerful. I think he is deserving of a first round pick, and he didn't go in any of the eleven. He did not. Very surprising. Um, my first one. I guess I'll just throw mine in there. I actually have Landris T as one of my uh, surprise didn't go picks. 
Um, so I'll just throw that in there, and I, I don't know. I, he's versatile. He can be scarf. He can be banned. He can be defensive. Um, he learns rocks. Um, he, he learns U-turns. He can be part of the U-turn core. Uh, Volt turn core. I know that because uh, you always start him in the I know. We've <laughs> <laughs> been fighting a lot in OU, uh, me and him, and I almost always start with a scarf. Uh, Landers and just kill something, um, basically. And, uh, yeah, so that's Landers. Uh, I guess you can go ahead again. Alright. My next one is Vic Teeny. I'm, he's, she's a really powerful fire type one, and I'm very surprised that the Dizzy Falcons did not, I know that he is a big fan of her, as you can tell he's picking Pokemon that he's a fan of. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised actually that he didn't take Vic Teeny, um, over Azel. Um, for a couple reasons, actually, uh, Victini arguably fits better, um, at least with the typing synergy. Um, he, he gets to resist the uh, fire types for Weavile and the brass types uh, for Keldeo. Um, I know, as I was pointing, there's a few times I was had Victini in the back of my mind. Um, my next, uh, yeah, my next uh, mon, it's kind of a set of mons that I'm surprised didn't get a look, was the, uh, the Watis, uh, Latios and Latios. Um, super powerful, um, very fast, one to base speed, um, hit pretty hard on the special side, um, have a huge move pool, um, or dragons, they're also special dragons, which kind of makes them sort of unique, there's not that many, uh, makes specialty. Makes them good against Ditto. Yeah, makes them good against Ditto. I brought a Ditto against his Latios. Yeah, as I was, like, about to hit a dragon move, and I was like, well, okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, I also learned Defog, uh, which is really a big deal in, uh, in this format, just being on your rocks. Um, yeah, the lot of you know, it's pretty big. My next one is Talon Flame. I think that she's definitely deserving of being drafted. Fire Flying, and she's very fast and very powerful one. That just, I, I think she should have been picked. Yeah, it's a very hard um, type combination to uh, be able to wall. Not a ton, do The only two I can think of that completely wall. Uh, him are uh, Rotom, the Ro Rotom Wash and Rotom Heat, um, and uh, what is it? Heatran. Um, but yeah, very, very powerful mod. I agree. Um, my last mod that I thought, we're actually going to do Megas as well, but my last regular mod that should have been picked that wasn't uh, was Cresselia. Um, just a very annoying mod if you guys have not played it. Uh, ridiculous defense, ridiculous HP. Uh, it has a bit of versatility. Learns like Ice Beam, which is cool. Uh, learns dual screens, which is nice. Learns, um, I don't think he learns any, I don't think he learns like a way to interact with hazards. I don't think he has like um, stealth rocks or, or rapid spin or something like that, but just a very annoying mom to get through. With how much you hate playing, I'm surprised you didn't take her. Yeah, honestly, I didn't even think of her. I, I don't know. I had like my my little plan worked out, and let's see, what was my other tier two? I guess I, the only slot I really would have considered taking him is the uh, is either Mammoth Swine or Slowbro pick, um, and I wanted a bulky walker more than a psychic type. Um, yeah. Do you want to do one of your megas? Sure. Uh, my first mega that I thought should have been picked that wasn't uh, was Megalopony. Um, I think she's one of the best megas just in the tier bar none. Uh, maybe the best one. She just requires nothing from your team. Honestly, she was like I always, like, if, if, if all of my plans went wrong, like, if somehow every first pick I wanted was gone, my pick was just going to be Megalopony, because she really does not care about what your team makeup is. She just hits things really hard, and she's really fast. Um, yeah. My, I only have one Mega, and it's Mega Alakazam. I just think that he's just so fast that he can outspeed most things in this format, and he can still hit very hard on the physical side or special side. That I think he could do some damage. Yeah, the only thing in this draft, at least, that would speed to him other than like, well, speed boost Mega Sharpedo that speeds him, and uh, anything with a scarf fly that speeds him. But um, uh, Sandbrush Escudero. Those two. Um, but the only thing that I guess naturally outspeeds or is at least a speed die with him is Mega Aerodactyl. Um, and then my last Mega, I had one more that I thought was surprising I didn't get picked, was Mega Sableye. Um, just a very good defensive model. Only has one weakness, um, good defense, good special defense, a great ability and magic bounce. Um, so just another way to get rid of rocks. Um, can set up calm minds, can run like tricky foul play sets. Uh, even before it, it Mega Evolve has a great ability and prankster. Um, 
yeah, just a good mon that I'm surprised wasn't picked. So that's going to wrap it up for us here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video. It did go fairly long, but hopefully you enjoyed it uh, going through uh, pick by pick. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to say about the draft? Other than that your team is the best. <laughs> um, I don't think so. All right. I don't think I have anything either. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.